It was something the world could cheer about. 195 nations approving a deal to halt global warming. They agreed to keep global temperatures from rising more than 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. They also laid out a long-term plan to reach peak greenhouse gas emissions as soon as possible. And every five years, each country's progress in cutting emissions will be subject to review. Rich countries will also have to help poorer nations by providing climate finance to help them switch to renewable energy. Four months later in New York, 175 countries signed the accord. But there was another step before the Paris Treaty could take effect. At least 55 countries, accounting for at least 55% of global emissions, needed to ratify the deal. Efforts to bring the deal into force were given a big boost in September when China and the USA, the world's two largest greenhouse gas emitters, ratified the agreement. The following month, the European Union did the same. That pushed the accord past the required threshold, meaning the climate change agreement would come into force on November the 4th. When the deal was reached last year here in Paris, few imagined that by the time they would meet for the next climate conference, the Paris Agreement would be in force. Now that it is, the focus in Marrakesh is going to be how the pledges made last year will be fulfilled and how they can be approved upon. Kate Parkinson, CCTV, Paris.